What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm doing really good myself. Uh, it's stories like this that makes me prepare for the second coming of the Most High as soon as possible. Because it's just too much twisted, perverted things that's happening in this day and age for it not to be. And we know that's how Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed, okay? <laughs> that's the reason why also Moses built the ark, you understand, because of the twisted and perverted things that were happening in those days that still seem to plague these days, you know, of Moses, as far as I'm concerned. We still in those times. Um, but it's ever so much worse as far as I'm concerned, you know. <laughs> Twisted and perverted situations like this particular story right here. Trans prisoner who impregnated inmate is serving 30 years for killing foster father, okay? This job right here, this, okay? <laughs> I guess he killed his foster, you know, parent or whatever. And that's what got him in prison. But... If you notice, it says he impregnated an inmate. Okay. Now, this is a trans actor right here. So in other words, it's a dude pretending to be a woman. But the problem is, is that they took this dude right here and put him inside of a woman's prison. Women's prison. Okay. That's the problem right there. You understand? They honored this twisted, perverted thinking person right here in the believing, you know, otherwise they honored what he wanted to be looked at as a woman. And this ain't no woman. It ain't, you know, and that's just what it is. His name is Demetrius Minor, who is now called Demi inside the Etna Mahan Correctional Facility in Clinton, New Jersey. <laughs> Woo wee. Uh, <clears throat> you got to look at this kind of stuff like it with a, you know, sense of humor to an extent. Because if you don't, you'll get boiling mad, you know? Now, to get into this story right here, it says, Earlier this week, we reported on a story about a trans actor, inmate, who got a female inmate pregnant at an all-women's correctional facility. The trans prisoner is behind bars for killing their foster parent. Okay? Like I said, who do you actually blame for this situation right here? I mean, the prison itself, the jail, whatever you want to call it, knew that this is not a woman. And therefore, they also knew that he's not to be put, in, in the, put into the population with women. But they did it anyway, and look what happened. Okay, let's continue. This is sick, man. According to a Daily Mail... Demetrius Minor, incarcerated at Etna Mahan Correctional Facility, confessed online to impregnating, impregnating two inmates. One of the women pregnant, Latonia, yeah, Latonia Bellamy, 31, is serving a life sentence and will give birth in the fall. She said the two had found love in a hopeless place, quoting a line from the Rihanna song, in an online blog titled Freedom, Love, Pregnancy, and Trauma. <laughs> she said while sex was prohibited at the facility, she was not forced to do anything that she did not want to do. Okay? Oh, gosh. A hopeless place. Love in a hopeless place. This is two hopeless-ass people as far as I'm concerned. Look how you conceive this baby right here. See, this is what I'm talking, more twisted, perverted ass behavior on how you conceive the child. So now, being that both of y'all ass is serving 30 to and 31 years, when this baby come into the world, who's supposed to get the baby and take care of him? Y'all gonna be in fucking prison. And this is the, the, the other the person, you know what I'm saying? Convicted double murderer Latonya Bellamy is now pregnant after having consensual sex with fellow prisoner Demetrius Minor. <laughs> Woo wee, New Jersey Department of Corrections. She wrote, despite um, it not being permitted, I fell in love and had consensual sex with a woman who is trans. It is not a woman. 
you you are you are mildly basically retarded. Consensual sex is a prohibited act in Etna Mahan. Okay. I did what is natural to every human being, formed a natural and genuine bond that led to an extensive amount of support, understanding, and love. You, you would know, you, you form an extensive amount of retardation. This shit is ridiculous right here. The mind, the mindset is done. You see what I'm saying? Well, let's get on through this. When Demetrius was 16, they broke into Theodos Butts, their foster's father home, and stabbed him several times. He was 69. Demetrius fled to New York, where they were arrested. Okay? Sick and twisted, man. I ain't lying. William Sullivan, president of the union that represent most of the state's correctional facilities, spoke to DailyMail.com and didn't seem shocked. We foresaw this in 2019 when uh, when we filed an injunction to stop the transfer of inmates to the women's facility that identify as trans actors. Okay, it actually says transgenders, but these are trans actors, pretenders. Okay, these people are not. This is not a woman right here. Okay, these people are. Oh man. You know, you've seen a lot of this kind of stuff like this in mental illness. When they cut down, I mean, close down a lot of these uh, mental illness facilities, you know, for people that kind of like what they call borderline, you know, retarded, or I, I guess that's not the politically correct word these days to use, but hey, it was used before and it's good enough now as far as I'm concerned. You know, mentally challenged, you know what I'm saying? special needs whatever you want to call it man but this is the shit that's happening says trans inmate got two female in, well, inmates pregnant is behind bars for killing their foster parent one of the women they knock says they found love in a hopeless place okay we read that you know but while I'm on talking about these two being you know borderline retarded or whatever what can we say for the jail who put this this man inside this women's prison what can we say for them i'd have to say they they fit that description as being retarded as well that's just what it is this man had no business in a female's prison that's just all there is to it but we know this is what these people like to do, twist things around and then sit back and laugh about it and have a good time doing it. But when it's all said and done, this ain't no laughing matter. <laughs> like I said, y'all get ready because the most high coming soon. That's all I got on this one. People, y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular sick ass story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.